Hi, I'm Jonathan Lehman of Nine Marks in Chevrolet Baptist Church, and I'm with Ken Bugwa of Emmanuel Baptist Church from Nairobi, Kenya. Ken, you wrote an article for us called Don't Muzzle the Ox, in which you say, you're talking to pastors, and you say, it's possible that there's a reason for you not to take an income, for some pastors not to take an income, but that's probably not you. Can you explain? So maybe the statement or comment is not primarily aimed at um, pastors who are already in vocational ministry, um, but people who are considering the ministry but putting it off. Because mm-hmm. um, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, before I came into the ministry, I stayed away from what at that time I believed was what God was calling me to, what the elders who were overseeing me believed God was calling me to. And the primary reason I chose to stay away from it is because I was trying to find a way of doing the ministry without having to get paid um, by the church. And I came up with all manner of reasons, including looking at Paul and saying, hey, look, there's examples of him rejecting a salary here um, to be able to do God's work in such a way as would allow you to not um, have any accusations. And that seemed like the godlier thing to do. It did. Um, But it wasn't. But it wasn't. And eventually, um, I, I, I found many other sinister motives behind uh, behind why it is that I was rejecting that. A pride, sinister. Yeah, a pride, uh, just a desire to be independent of, you know, taking money from people. I didn't That's want true. to um, be in a position like that. And, and that also comes with a, with a, with a, a desire almost to not be as accountable mm-hmm. um, to others, which also leads to an unhealthy um, posture of not being dependent on one another. Yeah, as we're doing God's work. So, but by the Bible is very clear in, in First Corinthians, uh, in in First Timothy five, in Galatians six, several passages talking about as, as your title puts it, "Don't muzzle the ox." One one more interesting thing you talk about in the piece is that very often American missionaries come over to Africa, paid by their churches in America, come over work for free in Africa, and you say interestingly that actually hurts. African church or pastor. Can you explain that? Nobody yeah. would expect that. So, so what hurts the African church is not that there are U.S. churches that are supporting those missionaries. What hurts the African church is when individuals who are supported financially by American churches fail to teach the churches they are planting or pastoring to support their pastors, primarily because they don't need um, that support. And, 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 and to me, the failure is a failure to teach the whole counsel of God. So I've been in context again. It's not like a broad um, accusation. So there's many people who, many missionaries who most probably do teach their churches to support um, their pastors. But I've, I've been in contexts where missionaries have um, so highly spiritualized the aspect of supporting your pastor that it almost sounds like the pastor who is asking the church to support them is a lover of the things of the world. Um, whilst the missionary, who is not asking the church to support him, is more spiritual, he's a spiritual and more godly because he's being supported from Which him. ends up leaving the African pastor underpaid and scrambling to provide for his family. It hurts the gospel itself because the, the banker in the room who has gifts in teaching and preaching, um, in many ways, if he was to think about a vocational ministry where he would be giving most of his time to preparing sermons and shepherding the church, is having to make a decision of, do I stop caring for my wife and kids well yeah. so that I can follow my calling? Yeah. Or do I follow my calling and I'm unable to care for my kids um, and wife well? And that's not always a decision, not always key, not always a decision that we're being called to make when we're making that decision to step down yeah. and go to the ministry. The, the article is Don't Muzzle the Ma- Ox. You'll find it at ninemarks.org. Brother, thank you for writing it. Thanks for this conversation. Thank you.